we are at the beginning of a storm cycle and we need to watch for changing conditions and increasing danger as we get more and more snow. Right now below tree line, soft fluffy snow, really no concerns yet. Here we're on the south aspect and it's falling on a thin crust. So we're going to watch for a slick surfaces here, especially where we, as we get more slab at this elevation or higher where we're getting wind. And B, um, once we start to put a significant load on this crust, we start to wonder about these facets below the crust and if it's collapsible. So again, waiting for a slab to form. Right now below tree line, not really an issue, but you can probably hear the wind behind you in the camera. And as we get more and more wind loading up higher, we're going to see how those conditions are changing today and of course through the week. So as we're getting higher in elevation, more wind effect and these problems are developing quicker and they'll be larger as the storm goes on. Um, you can just start to see a little bit of cracking and cohesion in this new snow up here. And right now, small and specific, we're just looking for like these wind slabs to be forming below ridge lines, below cornices and gullies and that sort of thing. We'll see those start to expand and become more widespread with more and more snow. All right, continuing our tour on Monday the 2nd. Now we've wrapped around onto a more shaded northeasterly aspect. Much different snowpack here. Variability at higher elevations is a key thing that you're going to read about in the avalanche bulletins. So some areas we have a really firm wind board that you saw possibly on an earlier take or have read about in the avalanche bulletin. In other areas we may not have that wind board under this recent new snow that we're seeing here on Monday. Underneath this really soft snow currently we have these weak near surface facets they're not they're not as big as you would see down at the ground oftentimes when we're just like shaking out the sugar so they're a little harder to identify because they're much smaller but these are going to be a culprit weak layer with additional snow in the forecast this week and lots of wind loading this is going to be a problematic weak layer that formed back during a number of cold spells we had over the last week also Adding on to that variability, at higher elevations, near tree line elevations, we've had slopes that have been raked by the winds, we've had slopes that have already avalanched, um, we've had slopes that don't have much snow on them or they do have a lot of snow on them. So that variability could leave some slopes currently being very weak right now. And on those slopes, we might see very large avalanches after we get enough snow that actually go all the way to the ground and not just this mid-storm or this uh, mid-pack instability. We'll be talking about that in the avalanche bulletin, telling you which weak layers you should be looking out for and how big the avalanche problem is that we're expecting. Thank you.